Well, today, guys, we've got an SBC that I think was very, very unexpected. We have got on your battle, of course, who did have a Team of the Year card. She's six squads. She's very expensive. But I think this card could be absolutely amazing for your team. For cheap, reliable, and fast FC24 coins for Team of the Season, make sure you go to lootbar.gg. Lootbar.gg currently offers you the 5% tax cover, a refund guarantee, 5% bonus for free, and bonuses on your coins. They also have a 24-7 customer support team, so if you are struggling, you will be able to get that sorted very quickly, as well as incredible reviews, so you know you can trust them. If you do want coins for Team of the Season, make sure to check out lootbar.gg and use code VIPER for 8 percent off all of your orders the link to lootbar.gg is down in the description so go and check it out now i know probably a lot of people are going to look at this card and think she's a little bit overpriced Five hundred and fifty thousand coins for her is in my opinion very very well priced four star four star five foot five that's an issue her height is an issue but stay with me stick with me as we're not going to play her at right back or left back in terms of play style she has got incisive pass Long ball pass plus, ticky tacker and whip pass with anticipated silver, jockey plus, rapid quick step plus, and relentless. She can play right back, right wing back, and left back in terms of when you start. You know, she can't play in midfield, which is exactly where we're going to play her. I'm going to switch around in game, so please do stick with me because I feel like a lot of people are going to downvote this card, but. I think if you know how to play with a card like this, I think this could be absolutely amazing. So, 97 acceleration with 94 sprint speed. She's got decent shooting, 99 attack position, and 83 finishing, and 87 for her shot power. She's got very good passing, but low vision at 78. 93 crossing, 94 short pass, 85 long pass, and curve. Great agility and balance. Her dribbling stats are a bit low, which is strange because they're actually really, really good. You know, that agility and balance is going to be great for the Jockey Plus as well. 96 for her reactions. 88 ball control, 92 dribbling, 89 composure. Very good dribbling stats, even though it's on the low side. Defensively, she's let down by her head and accuracy. She's got more like 95 defending here, in my opinion. 92 interceptions, 96 for both defensive awareness and stand tackle with 93 slide. 86 jumping, 99 stamina. 76 strength and 88 aggression. You can see that we've applied an engine to her. So she's going up to 99 acceleration and 98 sprint speed. So 98, 99 pace. Gets a little boost here as well to the vision, which I think is quite crucial. 82 now. Goes up to 98 short pass, 89 long pass and 93 curve. From 98 agility, 99 balance and 99 dribbling. Her shooting's good, guys. Um, I'm actually going to play her on get forward as a central midfielder. But... Kind of more of a box to box, so I might go balance attack actually. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go on balance attack, and I think this is the best position for her personally. Now, you're going to see as well, guys. I actually need to change this team around a little bit here. So, I'm going to play like that. So, if you've got Lucas Vasquez, it's very, very easy to put him at right wing and put on your back chain down at uh, right back and then just swap them in game. So, that's going to be the way we set up, guys. Let's get into a few games with her and see what she can do. Okie dokie, guys. Here we go. First game now coming up with Anya Bache. I think that's how you say her name. I'm not too sure. But I'm very, very curious to see what this card's like. You know, that quick step should be quite nice. And what you have to remember, guys, is this card competes with her team of the year. And, you know, if, you, if you're used to using, like, the card Shawi, the Selma Basha, you might actually have a bit of opportunity to use this card. This guy that I'm playing is really good, by the way. I can already tell. So this is going to be a very, very good test for our girl, uh, Onya. Here is Musiala. Backwards there. Nice. Good play. Georgia Stanway. That rhymed. Into Onya here. Okay. So she feels very, 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 very good dribbling-wise. I can tell you that straight away. Um, She just turned so quickly there. And there you go, guys. Straight away there. And what I thought when I first saw this SBC is, okay, she's small. She's done really well there as well, may I add. But she might be small. But you guys, you know, we, we all used to love N'Golo Kante in the midfield. This card just looks like N'Golo Kante with better attacking stats. And you've got to remember as well, she's got Tiki Taka. And Tiki Taka is OP, by the way. Tiki Taka is one of the best play styles on the game, in my opinion. Ooh. I don't know how much you guys know about this, but everybody 
at the high level, from my experience, always used her team of the year. Always use her team of the year. This guy is very sweaty. Very sweaty. Jockey as well with quick step is actually quite disgusting. Once again, a few, a few things that people won't know about, unless you do play this game super, super regularly, is how good Tiki Taka is. And there you go. Look, I mean, look at this, guys. Look at that. Oh, so unlucky. That is so unlucky. That all started. That all stemmed from uh, Anya doing really, really well. Oh, good chance. Oh, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Her shot power, I thought, was going to be a bit of a problem for her coming forward. But so far, so good. Oh, dear. Is that a block? That better have been a block. Oh, that was terrible. That was terrible. Now, you can't expect too much from her in that sense. You know, she's not going to score many goals for you. It's nice that she does have a goal-scoring threat. Oh, I like this card, guys. Uh, do, do you know what? The, the quick-step combination with Jockey is actually quite insane if you know how to like use it on the defensive side of things. I certainly think it suits her playing as a midfielder a bit more. Ah, uh, she gone offside. Yeah, she has just. It's a good ball from on you again, though. Um, yeah, so uh, overall... Just try and watch what I do with her here. So, you get the uh, the jockey speed, right? Just like this. And you can go straight into quick step when you want to release the jockey. Which, in my opinion, is something that doesn't get used very well or often. But is actually quite overpowered. Um, she's been very good going forward so far. She's actually been quite good defensively as well. I've been quite impressed in these first 22 minutes with her. And as I said, this guy's a good player. So, it's a very, very good test for... This Anya, see what she can do. Wow. She's she zooms, guys. She likes coming forward, I tell you that. Nice. Win that. Oh. Oh, never mind. Unlucky, unlucky. She's really, really good, guys, at covering ground quickly. Um, you know, because as I said, once again, because of the jockey, because of the quick step, she covers ground super fast. And she can actually come forward. Oh, she does feel really good, actually, guys. Nice. She goes spin, spin, spin. And again. Okay, okay. Let's find that. Lovely ball, guys. And you know, you guys know, I, I don't need to tell you this one, how good um, long ball pass plus is. It's like one of the best play styles on the game. Nice. Okay. I've got to say, guys, I'm a massive fan of this card. She's just been dispossessed there, but I am a massive, a massive, a massive stan of Onya Bacchelli. She is again. A bit of time on the ball. We're going to try and look for this as well. Oh, it's a peach. It's a peach. Nice. Oh, man. Her dribbling is actually really good, considering it is considered to be quite low. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. She's won that back there as well. No, she hasn't. That's another lovely ball from her. I mean, listen, guys. If you've ever wanted, like, the Kante mould, but with a bit more quality, this is it right here, man. I'm telling you, this, this card is great box to box. Oh, she feels unbelievable on the ball. Like, she fully does feel unbelievable on the ball. She goes again. Nice, good dribble in. Looks up. There we go. Musiala. Oh. Back into her. Look at that left stick dribbling. Now, how many players do you know that don't have press proven that can left stick dribble like that? I, I certainly don't know many. I mean, wow. I mean, what a goal. Started from her as well. All right, guys. My review is in on Anya Batchley. I think that's how you say her name. I could be wrong, but I think that's how you say it. I really, 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 really do like this card. And... She's not a good fullback because she's just too small. I'd much rather have Zhao Cancelo, Lucas Vasquez. He's quite small as well. But, you know, the kind of height, 5'9", 10", 11 is good enough. Cancelo is 6 foot. You want at least 5'9", or 5'10", for your fullback. You know, I reviewed Alex Scott. And while she was okay, it was the FC Fancy card. She is too small and it's very hard for them kind of cards to um, tackle the ball. And I would say the same for this card as well, but I think she has got the best combination of play styles for a card that kind of sits deep 
in Jockey Plus and Quick Step Plus. The ability to, to do like the really fast jockeying that you get with Jockey Plus into sprinting out of it and having the Quick Step Plus at your disposal is really insane. And you're going to have to play with this card in game to know what I mean. But you can jockey really, really quickly with her. And then if you need to come out of the jockey to kind of cover a bit, a bit further over, the Quick Step is going to help you do that insanely fast. Her passing's brilliant. As a kind of get forward player, the incisive pass is nice, a long ball pass plus. She's got really, 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 really good long balls. Tiki Taka is great going forward, and her Tiki Taka is awesome. Whipped pass is more for a fullback. You won't really get to utilize that too much. The anticipate on her feels really good as well, guys. And then we've got the Relentless, which really does play into the way you need to play with this card, which is constant jockeying and using the quick step, which is going to drain stamina constantly. And because she's got 99 Stam and Relentless, it is just lights out good, guys. This card is awesome. Not a fullback. I would recommend not doing her if you're looking at playing her at fullback. But if you play in your midfield, this might be one of the best CDM slash central midfielders on the game because of what she offers, similar to like a team of the year, Kante, you know, of, of years past. She really does feel like Kante. Um, if Kante got a juiced up card that could pass really well and could actually shoot, that is what this card feels like ultimately. That That is where I'm at with it. I'm happy I completed her. I think she's really, really good. And I really do recommend her for your midfield. Guys, if you haven't enjoyed today's video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the best to prepare you. But guys, it's going to be it for me for now. So take care.